Hey guys, welcome back to the studio and thank you so much for joining me. Being able to logo your products or do custom embossing with whether that's initials or whatever is such an important thing if you're doing bespoke leather work. And that is why a heat press is, in my opinion, one of the most important things you can get and why it was the first piece of machinery, machinery that I bought. There are so many heat presses on the market, whether it's a knockoff Chinese one or whether it's a several thousand pound heat press. There are so many on the market. That's why I wanted to make this video to show you which one I've got, why I've got it and why I would recommend it. The Metallic Elephant KSF Mini, which is the heat press I use, is by far the best heat press available for small businesses with a totally reasonable price depending on what you consider to be reasonable it is by far the most user-friendly controllable machine there is quick disclaimer i'm not sponsored by metallic elephant i have bought this with my own money this is not pay promotion this is purely my thoughts and feelings about the KSF Mini. What people call embossing is actually debossing and you're indenting a, a shape or letter into your medium. In this case, it's, it's leather. Now, if you, if you just press it without any heat, it, the likelihood is it's not gonna stay unless you're using something very markable and it's veg tan. It, it's basically impossible to press without heat anything into chrome tan leather full stop because of the way it's tanned. It's just it's just not possible. With veg tan or bridal leather you can because bridal leather marks very very easily and veg tan leather marks very easily. However when you move it around and you flex it or it's in someone's pocket because it's just pressed in, it will come out. Now on the flip side, heating. When you put heat into that, you're molding it into that shape. You're not just pushing it in. Heat pressing a shape, number, letter, word into your project, you are permanently, or as close to permanent as, as possible with leather, putting that into your item. So that's why to use heat. Now, the question of when is purely down to you. I can't tell you, okay, you're at this stage, you're doing this type of product, go out and spend X many hundreds or thousands of pounds on a heat press. I'm not gonna do that because it's not my place. What I can say is if you believe you're at that level, and I'm happy to do a video on at which point I was at that point or thought that I was at that point, I'm happy to do that. Leave a comment below, subscribe if you want to see that. Like I said in the intro, the range is massive. You can get a reasonably cheap one off Amazon or whichever market site you like to use for a couple of hundred quid. Will it last? That's debatable. Is it repairable? Also debatable because they're, they're often made offshore in China and very difficult to service. All of this culminates in why I decided to buy the KSF Mini. I wanted something that was made in the UK that came with a warranty with really good customer support. These guys have all of those things by the bucket load. You can send them a message on Instagram, you can call them, you can email them and within, a, within the day you get a response. Now, I can't say the same for anyone else because I haven't bought anyone else's stuff, but I'm assuming that if you buy something from overseas, from Korea, China, wherever, probably not gonna get essentially the same day response. Number two, I wanted something that was easy to use. I wanted something that I didn't have to faff around with settings or with rollers or what, or pay much larger amounts of money. I wanted something with a digital readout because I wanted it to be able to have a really solid heat control. Some 
a heat controller that tells you to the degree what temperature it's at on the base on the back right of the of the machine there is a box with a very simple very easy to read I, I think it's an LED readout where you set it you program you turn it on you program the temperature and you can leave it and it will maintain that temperature one of the reasons for that is because every leather and a lot of different foils need a different heat to activate them and get that perfect embossing embossing with a temperature control that goes from zero, obviously when it's off, to 200 degrees, which is phenomenal. It's really good. I don't know if the others do that, but this one does, and I love that feature about it. The workable surface, so the, the plate, that the, the steel that you put your piece on, has a really solid working area for a hobbyist, a small business. I'm a small business, but you might be a hobbyist and your needs working area the bed of the of the machine has engraved lines on it but more importantly than that it's got a middle line so you're not counting from one side to the other it's got a middle line and then it's one centimeter either side increments which for me is perfect because it allows for really good accurate movement and positioning this makes lining everything up super easy the bed itself is 21 centimeters deep by 25 centimeters wide one of the design aspects of this machine that i believe is probably unique is the fact that you can change the throat of it it's got an aluminium bar underneath with two holes in it simple design but it means that if you have a product that you need to get closer or further away from the head you can change this bar out therefore changing the throat of the machine moving on from the bed and assorted accessories as i mentioned before the head itself moves uh, and this is a unique feature of the metallic elephant line of of embosses within that head is a super unique system now you might be asking yourself why is a metal block unique it isn't but in this system, it is. Within the metal block that's in the head of this machine, there are corner screws. There are four screws in the corners of this block. And it means that you can buy from Metallic Elephant very thin and therefore cheap brass dies. That if you're doing custom corporate work, or you're getting corporate work regularly and therefore you have different logos that you're putting onto the machine you're not spending huge amounts of money on thick brass dies this metal block is held in with three thumb screws they do get warm even though they've got plastic on them but we'll forgive them for that the machine is operated with a long handle on the top of it you hinge the head of the machine down that locks in place so you don't get any faffing about and then you operate it manually with the handle on top bringing it down to emboss your your piece the positives of this is that it's a super easy super quick way of doing it this the negatives of this is that you can and i have put too much pressure into it the die or lettering goes through the leather i'm not saying this happens regularly but if you're a little bit willy-nilly with it you will have problems just to bear in mind this is not a 100 percent perfect machine the only other negative i have for it and it is the only other negative i have is that even though the base of the machine is a really heavy i think it's a one inch block plate essentially i think it is steel actually if you're putting lots of force into something the machine can lift up a little bit but i wouldn't let that put you off it's got such a small footprint i think it's actually an a4 footprint that it's got it can fit in a lot of studios that don't have a lot of space thanks so much for watching my review of the ksf mini if you've got this far in the video i really appreciate it 
and would love it if you'd click that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything and really helps this channel grow. As we're approaching the thousand subscribers, there's going to be a giveaway very soon. There'll be a link to the KSF Mini in the description box below. If you're interested in it, please go ahead and click that li link. It is not an affiliate link. I will not get a kickback for, from it. This is, a this is a review that I've done simply because I want to help you guys find the best products for you. Not because I'm getting paid for or any other kickback like that. And I look forward to seeing you next time.